We're crossing the bridge, our light is coming from the other side, and what we have developing is some magnificently beautiful light, natural light on our subjects. Let me say again, the on-camera flash is turned off. It's turned off. I'm not using it. The off-camera flash that RC was using, it's turned off as well. We're just going to use the natural light right here, and again, just see if we can bring it in the way we've talked about before with that loop lighting pattern to get a really pretty photograph. If we look at our bride right now, I'm just going to take a quick photograph right here of her, and what we see is we just see the light kind of dancing on her cheeks and nose and everything else, and it's, it's not really pretty light. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn her head away from me till I see the camera side of her nose set up in profile. And once I, or the camera side of her nose set up in shadow. Once I see that camera side of the nose in shadow, we're going to be good to go. So I've got her head turned around. I think our pose is looking okay. I need the veil to be brought out some more this way, so it's framing her face. Perfect, yeah. Okay, we have beautiful, beautiful lighting on her face. Megan, point the bouquet down a little bit more. Yeah, perfect, just like that. Lift your eyes a little higher to the sky. Beautiful. I'm just framing her with a tree I have on the left and also a tree on the back, getting just a really, really, really pretty profile. I'm going to zoom back here. Do I need a lower camera angle? Eh, maybe, maybe not. It's still pretty. And what we got is just a gorgeous series of images right here, just beautiful lighting on our bride that accents both her, and, uh, accents both she and her uh, gown and everything. Now, the thing is, well, suppose I don't want every photograph to be a profile view. Well, if I turn her back towards me, what's going to happen? We're going to have her split lit again. We're going to have that lousy lighting on her face. So what I need to do is walk into a front view of her, if you will, because this is where the lighting is best on her. So I'm going to move around this way to her left. I'm going to let her just stay where she is. And then let's see how the new photographs look in, say, the two-thirds view or maybe the full face view. So I'm heading that way. Let's take a couple more photographs over there. Okay, I've just rotated around this way. We haven't really changed her head or position of her head hardly at all, but we still have that really pretty lighting on her face. Now, I'm going to do a couple of them with a horizontal position because when you look at the image that pops up on the screen, I would love for you to notice that the leading lines coming in from the left-hand side come in together, then they open up like the top part of a Y and kind of just are starting to wrap around her. And I think it's a great way for the eye to be led by our bridge lines right here to our bride. So again, we have pretty lighting on her face right here. Just shooting away. I'm going to come in a little tighter. Happier, Megan, for me. Good, good, good. Great. And I'm just trying some, just some different perspectives here. The bridge, and I think we're just getting some pretty stuff. Again, I haven't really changed the pose around that mo much because I think we've got some good stuff happening here. I could go around here even more. Let's see if we can open up the lighting on her face even more if I wander way, way over here and see what that does for us. Okay, the light's opening up really quite nicely on her face right here. Good, good, good. Our lines are still working beautifully with the bridge. I'm actually going to lead her. I'm going to put her on the left-hand side this time. Good, Megan, good. Putting her on the left-hand side, letting the bridge just lead away from her, I think works as well. So, uh, but here's something else I want to mention, too. If we look at the images right now, we are taking a chance with that light just starting to pocket in her eyes. And we talked about that in an earlier segment about how we had to lean her head away because our light was coming in from a little bit higher direction right here. Okay, Megan, perfect. Now we have tilt your head a little bit more ever so slightly. I'm just checking that the light is in her eyes. I think that looks good. How about no smile, just easy? Happier again. Happy, happy. And you can see that the light is now lighting up even more in her eyes. Let me have you tilt your chin down a little bit more and look over my head. Okay, I'm going to take one photograph and kind of talk this through just a little bit. So we have great angulation in her body here, which I think really adds to our composition. But now notice how we have the beautiful S-curve running through her body. From the top of her head to her chin is one diagonal. And then from her chin or from the neck, if you will, down to her waist, the line changes direction. And then from the waist down to the tip of her toe changes direction again. And if you follow that line all the way through her figure, you'll see the beautiful S-curve. That would be called a feminine curve. And again, if, if we can have our brides or anybody, if they hit that curve, it just seems to flatter the ladies that much more. So anyway, the other cool thing that's happening is here too is because since I have her head tilted this way with the way she's positioned in the S curve right here, her head is oriented towards the light properly as well. So now, Megan, turn your head away from me. Perfect, right there. Chin down ever so slightly. 
And now take a look at these images and how the light is so beautiful on her face right now. How we have the light coming right on in. And it's really, really working really, really pretty. So anyway, just again, just playing with the light, being sure that we have the light in the eyes. I'm going to ask Christian to come into our photograph right here too. And we'll do a couple more things here and then we'll wrap on the bridge. We've just asked Christian to step in, and I love that view that I had of Megan when she was kind of straddling the bridge here. I thought it looked very, very cool. It was giving me the, the proper orientation of her face to the light and everything. So we asked Christian to stand in and kind of do the same thing. Both of his hands are just barely touching her hands, and it kind of shows that connectedness between our bride and groom, which I think looks great. Notice, too, that her head is kind of going off to the right-hand side, and I've got him kind of leaning to the left-hand side. They're kind of creating a Y between both of their heads and their body right here, which I think look, works okay. Now, yes, I am putting his eyes in the raccoon eye sockets, but you know what? I'm featuring her in the composition. I'll end up having him maybe turn looking at her, so I'm less concerned about the lighting on his face. I think it looks just fine uh, by keying to her. So let's go ahead. We'll get a couple photographs here. Beautiful. Chin down, Megan, for me a little bit. Look over my head. Great, great, great. I'm also going to be concerned about what's behind. I got a tree branch behind him. Maybe a little camera angle solves that for me a little bit. Not much. I'm going to have to maybe and again, I'm kind of shallow. I'm at 100 millimeters right here. I thought I really want to crank it back. I can get back here pretty far. Let's compress the background like we did the last time, too. So way back, let's crank this guy out to about 200 millimeters, maybe even 300 millimeters. Let's see what holds together in the background here. Kristen, turn your head this way some more. Perfect. Right here, you guys. Good, good, good. Again. And I'm now at about 130 uh, millimeters focal length. I thought I'd get longer than that. I'm at a 60th of a second, but how can I get by with that? I'm shooting my 70 to 300 image stabilized lens and the 60th of a second, we should be just fine with those images. How far back can I go? I'm going even further back and see what we can do with that background again. And we're kind of losing our light here a little bit, so we gotta be moving quickly because I still have a few more things I wanna show you before we wrap up here on the bridge. Okay, 300 millimeters right here. Good, good, good. And what are we getting here? Our lighting is looking pretty cool. You might even argue that the light is just a little bit, I don't want to say harsh, but contrasty on her face because we have all this greenery sucking up the illumination on the camera side of the face. I'm not going to worry about that. My gosh, a little tweak in Lightroom with uh, shadow recovery, and we're, we're in a good place with that. All right, here we go again, guys. Great. Now, Megan, just do me a favor. Just take your hand and just bring it up around his face. Just kind of caress his face right here. Change hands with the bouquet so I can get that light in your face. Looking back at her now, Christian. Yep, there you go. Uh, tilt your head the other way, Christian. Lean out and now pull in towards, towards her some more. Perfect. Let's see what that does. And eyes closed, Christian. <laughs> hey, we got some cool things going on here just with our lighting again. We threw a couple other just kind of romantic poses in it. I want to do just a couple more here, and then we'll wrap here on the bridge. You know, it's interesting. It's just like on a wedding, the light's going down, the mosquitoes are buying, the alligators are everywhere, but we still got to get the shot, don't we? Let's get one more of Megan. I'm going to have her come forward on the bridge. We're going to orient her face to the lighting coming in again, see if we can wrap with a couple great images of her again. <laughs> 